So in the last couple of months, we've seen some great new products from Apple. However, one product we have not seen are the new Apple AirTags. Now we're wondering if we will get the Apple AirTags release date and price at the new Apple November launch event. Want to find out more? Stick around. So if you want to hear the latest gaming news, tech news, reviews and comparisons, hit that subscribe button followed by the bell. We are nearing the end of the year and coronavirus does not stop Apple from organising three virtual events this fall. In just under two months we have seen some great new products and that's including the new Apple Watch 6, the Apple Watch SE, the iPad 8th generation, the iPad Air 4, the HomePod mini and of course the new four models of the iPhone 12 and also as well the new Silicon Mac coming any day now. However there are two other products that we've heard about in the making and they have not been announced or featured. These are the new Apple AirTags and the AirPod Studios. So today I've decided to focus on the AirTags and tell you Apple fanboys and girls a little more about what AirTags can do for you. So just recently this channel has hit over 85,000 subscribers, what I'm over the moon about. So in celebration of this, I've decided to do a little bit of a giveaway, or more like a big giveaway. And that lucky subscriber, when we get over 100,000 subscribers, will get their hands on this. It is an iPhone 12 Pro in Pacific Blue. Now, if you want to get more details how you can be possibly the lucky subscriber to get your hands on this, make sure you're a subscriber and also to hit that bell notification. And I will give you more details later on this video on how you can possibly get your hands on this. Anyway, let's start with the AirTags. So in short, Apple have been creating a tile-like Bluetooth tracking device. Apple are to call these devices AirTags. As mentioned, they are small tracking tiles with Bluetooth connectivity that can be used to find lost items. There are several similar products on the market, such as Tile, but Apple's version will be more deeply integrated with Apple of devices, of course. These are designed to be attached to items like keys and wallets for tracking purposes, letting you find them right in the Find My App on your iPhone or on your iPad or logging into your iCloud. AirTags will have built-in chips that will allow them to connect to an iPhone, relaying the position of devices that they're attached to. You'll be able to use your iPhone, iPad, Mac to track the location of AirTags, much the same way how you find missing Apple devices, like your phone or your iPad. Tags work in close proximity and really far away as well. So say you've left your keys with a tag on them 100 miles away, what will happen is if an item is not nearby and cannot be located, you can put them into loss mode. In this mode, if another iPhone user comes along the lost item, they'll be able to see your contact information so they can send you a text or give you a phone call to let you know that they have found your missing item. You'll also receive a notification as soon as, say, another iPhone comes across your lost item, so it will beep and show and tell you the exact location of where it is. On top, AirTags are rumoured to have more accurate than your average Bluetooth item tracker, like the Tile, because they're said to take advantage of the new ultra-wideband technology that Apple are bringing out in loads of their devices, which basically gives more accurate indoor positioning. Apple's newest iPhones, AirPod mini and a few other products have a U1 ultra wideband chip so they're going to be able to track ultra wideband equipped AirTags more precisely more than traditional Bluetooth. For the actual design of the AirTags, John Prozer who has a bit of a mixed track record when it comes to Apple but has managed to redeem himself quite a lot within the last year shared renders that he says are based on the actual designs of the actual AirTags. The renders feature a flat white disc with no logo on the front and a silver backing with an Apple logo on the other side. He said in size they were a bit bigger than say an average bottle cap. It's also been mentioned that Apple will be bringing out leather pouches and keyring holders for these tags as well. With the latest iPhone 12 and the MagSafe and the little pouches for cards, I can see this actually happening. 
For confirmation that these air tags even exist, we've even seen Apple leak it in their iOS 13 beta by accident earlier this year. You can see quite clearly in the picture here the word air tags shown. We definitely know they are coming. After all of this, you're probably wondering when you can get your hands on some and what are they going to cost? What's going to be the price for them? It is looking likely that the tags will be announced at the next Apple event. The current timeline looks like we can have our hands on them maybe in November time this year in 2020. There was a rumour that we'd get them around now and that we would have seen them in the October Apple event and they would have been shown off with the iPhone 12 models and to be honest this does actually make sense. But just like the AirPod Studios we never actually saw them at this event. It is more likely that Apple will be doing another virtual event before the end of the year and John Prosser believes us as well. And we also expect to see the first Silicon Mac where we're expecting to see a Silicon MacBook with the new A14X chip inside it. If you don't know what this is either, do check out my MacBook Silicon video here on my channel. But for price, there's no word on what Apple AirTags will actually cost at this point in time. But similar products from other companies like Tile that I mentioned earlier price their tags between $25 to $35 for a single Bluetooth tracker. So we expect Apple to price maybe a little bit more because you do have that ultra wide band chip inside and also at the same time as well you have Bluetooth capability. So we expect the price to probably be just under $50. US dollars. Apple may also sell these tags in a pack of two or four as well for families, but again we are not too sure if this is true or not. However again, no price has been officially confirmed for these tags at the moment. I personally believe the tags are a really good idea. However, the company Tile for example have been selling these for years and for Apple to branch into this technology now, in my opinion, is a bit late in the day. However, having said that, Apple are a company who get a product and then work on it for a while and make it better. Just look at the recent MagSafe wireless charging technology inside the new iPhone 12 models. Yes, Apple were quite late to the party to put wireless charging in their phones. In fact, if you remember, the first wireless charging phones were actually the iPhone 8 and also the iPhone 10 or X or whatever you want to call it. But they've worked on that technology over the last few years and created this new MagSafe charging that I'm fairly sure other brands will want to replicate something similar, even though they've had wireless charging in their phones for a longer time. I believe that Apple will do the exact same on these AirTags here. They have seen the technology, they think it is good and they believe they can make it better. They will build on the idea and over time I'm sure it will be a great success. So just quickly, that giveaway I mentioned earlier, to possibly get your hands on that iPhone 12 Pro in Pacific Blue, I want to know from you, would you be buying something like this, the Apple Tags? Let me know in the comments below. And then to find out if you are that lucky subscriber to get your hands on the iPhone 12 Pro when we get over 100,000 subscribers, make sure you've hit that subscribe button followed by the bell. Well guys, I hope this has cleared up what air tags are all about. Will you be buying some tags in the future? That is the big question. I would love to know in the comments below. Well, it's also time to wrap this up as well. So don't forget if you have liked this video to press the like button. And of course, to hear the latest gaming news, tech news, reviews and comparisons, please do hit that subscribe button followed by the bell. Until next time guys, I'll see you soon.